Olivia's not feeling well today, so what better to make than a pasture-raised chicken in the crock pot? We can make some nice chicken broth afterwards. I'm gonna add in a little bit of garlic, or one clove of garlic, I should say. Put a couple of stalks of celery in. We'll let that simmer all day long. Put it on low, and that's gonna be one good dinner. How are you feeling? I'm a little bit better. You don't look too swell. You looking forward to some chicken for dinner? Yeah. Are oh, you? Yeah? Awesome. Feel better. Okay, I will. <laughs> good morning, Modern Centers. We need to clean up the little bit of a mess left over from our three day pig harvesting class. We had 14 people here other than my family. That's a lot of people. We got a little bit of trash we need to pick up. We need to sweep up the outdoor kitchen, get it ready for our chicken harvesting me and Gina will be doing tomorrow. Take a ride to the dump. Our town dump here is only open a few days a week. Kept everything in a sealed container. That way we didn't have to worry about animals. And it worked out perfect. One big bag of trash for a three day event with 12 people. I don't think that's bad at all. A couple of dead spiders in the bucket. tomorrow for the chickens. I think this will work out really nice for the chickens. We can just set the chicken up here, rinse it off, dry it, let it dry up there for a few minutes, and then we can put them in our bags. Try to keep everything a little organized. bring the hose in today. It's supposed to be down to like 27 for a low tonight. If I don't bring that in, it'll be frozen up. We won't have much luck with it tomorrow morning instead of the chicken harvesting. So all you remember to do that, and I bet you tomorrow we'll have the wood cook stove going most of the day while we're out here. We're gonna make a stew so we can have a nice stew going. So we can have lunch ready when we need it. You can probably put that right in the pot and keep it warm on top of the wood stove. I was very happy with how sealing the concrete floor with tongue oil held up during the class. We had, like I said, 15, 16 people out here and the floor held up really nicely. It's dirty and dusty.
That wasn't a big mess at all. I'm pretty impressed. We had 16 people out here in the outdoor kitchen for three days and the kitchen held up nicely. Last time we used our harvesting cone, we broke the wheel. So I need to get these two pieces apart and put a new washer in between. They're double nutted together on the inside. So let's see how it goes. Hey, not bad. All right, first nut's off. Get the second one free, if we can. Fingers crossed. Oh, there we go, I think. There we go. Now we need to find a big washer. In every modern setter, who plans on doing any kind of work around the house needs to have a spare parts and pieces bin. I'm gonna look for a couple of washers or a washer that'll work. I have one big one, but I think it's too big. Let's see if we can find another one. This one might work. Oh, that one's too big. Try these two. We can put them on. We'll go outside and we'll put it back together. My harvesting wheel is made out of two car rims. You got one for the top, one for the bottom with a tire on it. The tires just to make it a little more stable. I have a fence post on the bottom that I found somewhere. Welded it on to the rim. The top side, got homemade harvesting cones, and on the top side I welded nuts to hold the fence cap. Let me show you. I got a, and a pulley for my car. Now the reason why I'm double nutting is if I didn't, with it spinning, it would free up the other bolt or over tighten it. If you double nut it, you're locking the two nuts together and then they can't loosen or tighten more anymore. Perfect, let's try that out. Actually, you know what, I'm going to move this down below and set it up first before I put it together. These cones are homemade too. This was an old bread sign I had lying around. I cut them into a diamond pattern or a triangle pattern, rolled them up. Let me show you. I rolled them up and on the back side, I drilled holes and I just stitched it with zip ties. We've had this for years and it's worked out great. I need to move this table. How else are we going to do it? But with the tractor and a few ratchet straps. We love ratchet straps here. I'm just trying to make it so tomorrow we can start off earlier and easier. Get everything set up today that I can get set up. And then tomorrow we can get up, organize a few things, and then get harvesting the 50 meat birds we have to harvest. Give it a shot. I 
think that's the best we're gonna get it. Best way to do it, but it got the job done. Have a nice little table to set some stuff on if we need to. I like it. Setting all the equipment in the kitchen overnight. I'll set it up outside tomorrow. But this way, it's one less thing I have to do first thing in the morning. We have the Yard Bird. I think this one is, yeah, Yard Bird Chicken Plucker. We bought that at the beginning of the spring. We had it for the first batch of chickens we harvested this season, and it worked awesome. It was a huge game changer. We've never used a plucker before that. I'll leave a link in the description down below, the Yardbird Plucker. It made it so much more enjoyable. And then, Jason from Coops and More sent us over an electric chicken scalder. This thing is nice. I'll tell you what, it worked good. We used to do it on a turkey fryer that was, that was heated with a propane burner, which was awesome, but you had to keep checking the water temperature and shut it on and off the propane, adding hot water to cold water. So the automatic scalder, it's got a thermostat set inside, makes it a lot easier. You turn it on, it's set for the temperature. You can watch to see what temperature it's at. You'll be able to see all this stuff in action tomorrow. If you don't want to wait till the next video, I'll put a link here in, in the description down below for when we harvested our chickens at the beginning of the season. And there's a lot of places you can go online, you can rent a chicken plucker and a scalder. Different people in the area have them, some people in your neighborhood have them. You just got to look around and search around. If you have a local feed store, go talk to them. They might know who rents them. And it makes the process so much more enjoyable. It's not enjoyable, but it makes it a little bit more enjoyable. If you ever had to pluck your chickens by hand, you know what I'm talking about. We fed our chickens this morning, I'm not going to feed them again. I give them plenty of feed, they'll be able to eat till all afternoon, till probably middle afternoon. It'll make the butchering pot so much more neater and cleaner. We did the same thing with the pigs last weekend, and it makes it so much more cleaner, I will use. That's the word I'll use, cleaner. We have one more thing to do. We'll get it set up in the tractor, and it'll be, we'll be ready for tomorrow morning. Now it is raining out, so I gotta be quick about this so the modern stutters don't get too wet. I don't wanna break my camera. We made this crate for last time. This way we can get 25 meat birds in the crate, bring it right over to our setup, and we're good to go. You can make one of these. You can make one to fit in the back of your truck, whatever you have back to your car, it works awesome. You don't want to make one. Coops and More makes plastic ones for a very good price. There's a link in the description down below to their website. And if you put the promo code LUMNA in when you're checking out, you get 10% off.
Got a nice little trap door. Big enough to get the chickens in and out of. It's not too big that you can't reach. You can reach to all the corners, which is nice. Here's our smoking chamber that we'll be making. That we'll be making into a cold smoker. It's a barbecue that we made before. We'll have the cold smoke coming right up and out. We got three shelves set up in there right now. We do have a nice gauge on it so we'll be able to tell what temperatures we're at and where we want to be. spin this around I want the door on this side I'm gonna do that and when we come back we'll probably be eating chicken dinner well I'm glad we got all of our outdoor projects done it's raining pretty good out I don't know if you can see it dripping off the outdoor kitchen's roof or not and it's actually slowed up. Garlic on your feet tonight. Yeah. I'll make sure the garlic tonight. 